Hi, I'm Lakshmi Mandiam, VP of Product Management and Partner Ecosystems at the service provider in HBU at VMware. A cloud native architecture is fundamental to the success of deploying 5G networks. The benefits include greater operational efficiency and accelerated flexibility to deliver innovative services. I've had the pleasure of working with the Telia company on its journey towards a virtualized infrastructure and on towards a fully cloud native network deployment. I'm delighted to introduce Mauro Costa, Telia's Director of Network and Cloud Design and Architecture, who's going to join me in sharing his journey. Mauro, Telia is a leading example of CSP leveraging Telco Cloud. Please provide us with an overview of the Telco Cloud deployment journey so far. Our journey has been quite an exciting journey. It actually started around six years ago when uh, we could argue that the technology was still not super mature, was not super known uh, to the mainstream. Uh, but we actually uh, decided to go on uh, this journey because we firmly believed that, that the uh, virtualization as a first step towards full uh, network cloudification actually would uh, bring, would have brought a lot of benefits to, uh, the, uh, to us as a company. Uh, since then, we have uh, managed actually to... Uh, continuously uh, load the platform, uh, the network cloud platform uh, with more application and more traffic. We currently actually have, I would say, almost 70% uh, uh, of our total network traffic that runs on the platform. Uh, the platform is uh, distributed over six countries uh, with uh, 25 location uh, to date. Uh, and it runs uh, most of our applications. This includes actually all our voice uh, traffic, new generation voice. Uh, it includes uh, all uh, mobile packet core traffic. By year end, uh, we will have uh, completely switched off uh, the uh, legacy platform and everything will be on this platform. Also, I would say this includes uh, all new type of applications, uh, modern B2B applications, but also SD1 and other type of uh, workloads are totally uh, run on uh, the platform. It has been quite an exciting journey. And as I said at the beginning, uh, when we started, the technology was not mainstream. Uh, and one of the recipe for success of where we are now actually is, um, I'd say, fundamentally determined by the, uh, the fact that we worked uh, very well together with uh, VMware and we build uh, together with VMware and uh, with other partners uh, in uh, co-creation mode the uh, digital platform that we currently enjoy uh, as, as of today. Great. Well, thank you for sharing that journey in our conversations with CSPs and, and Telia company being a leading one. We see a couple of different areas that they're looking at in terms of their partnership. You know, they're looking for automation because, you know, as they go to a 5G deployment, it's a fairly complex deployment. And so, you know, needing more automation at multiple layers, infrastructure layer and, and the application layer. We're also seeing an absolute desire to go to cloud native just because of the flexibility and advantages um, that that brings. And, and certainly we're investing in our platforms to make that capable. But it's not just about the cloud native infrastructure piece. It's also about the service assurance and the ability to rapidly deploy service, which you know, uh, cloud native architecture can bring. But we're also seeing the need for a multi-cloud capability, especially as you expand to the RAN and edge kind of applications and the ability to deploy uh, at any uh, application. And we've also been having several conversations with customers about the benefits that network slicing uh, can bring, you know, especially as you think about cross-domain services, et cetera, that, uh, that Telia um, is is you know thinking about deploying. So I guess my question to you would be, what do you feel the main benefits were from the Telco cloud deployments so far, and how do you see things going in the future? Uh, well, I think the the, the benefits uh, of uh, virtualizing the platform and then creating a common digital platform are quite uh, huge and quite uh, extensive. Uh, we have seen uh, from the beginning uh, quite uh, a significant uh, increase in the robustness of the systems. Uh, we actually had uh, before to live with 
physically uh, vertically deployed systems uh, that actually created a lot of fragmentation in the network. Uh, with a single digital platform, you have more control on what uh, definitely is going on. Now, obviously, this doesn't come for free. It comes through, uh, I would say, an extensive redesign of your uh, processes, an extensive uh, redesign of how you do fulfillment and assurance, uh, and uh, an extensive uh, also rethinking of uh, how we interpret uh, the end-to-end -end in the network. But definitely the benefits are in a more, uh, definitely more robust uh, network, more resilient network, the ability to deal with software in a more native manner. Uh, and in particular, uh, when it comes to uh, the recent experience that we had in moving real uh, user plane, tra intensive user plane traffic on top of this platform, what, uh, what is uh, phenomenal is actually the ability to play with capacity when you need capacity, where you need capacity, you can scale it in, you can scale it out. And these capabilities, once you develop the necessary automation tools in the system, will give you enormous uh, benefits. With cloud native, obviously, we are taking this to the next uh, level. Cloud native sometimes is seen as uh, the cure of all the limitations that we currently have in networks. As a matter of fact, I think this uh, goes a bit uh, you know, beyond what we can do today. Uh, we will be able to deal with software in a fully cloud native perspective. This will increase our ability to um, uh, bring in more innovative solutions uh, in the system. And that is actually quite uh, relevant for us. Uh, it will increase our ability to experiment. Uh, I think one of the one of the uh, desire that we have in the system is to be able really to go out there as fast as possible to do co-creation with customers and to make sure that we have the possibility to understand the value of new services and the new propositions with uh, a, a digital platform that is natural, that comes very natural. And I think this is where we see the big value uh, of it above and beyond the operational increased capabilities. Uh, we are restructuring our um, first, second and third line when it comes actually to operations. Uh, we are making this more modern. We are concentrating on what drives actually value to the customers uh, as opposed to concentrating on other things that actually you know, are probably um, more uh, difficult to um, extract uh, when it comes to uh, the overall process uh, that we currently have in our network. So, you know, at the end of the day, it is about uh, creating a flexible uh, platform and a flexible way to address uh, emerging customer needs. Needs that we today do not necessarily know. We cannot, uh, we don't have a crystal ball, nobody has. Uh, but we know that a lot is happening out there and we need to be prepared with a platform of such flexibility to be able to seize that challenge. And this is the solution that we feel uh, gives us the, um, you know, the necessary ammunition towards, uh, the, uh, towards what we, what, what's going to happen in the market. Yeah, I mean, we've actually been, you know, really focused on collaborating with you, especially, you know, when you talk about co-creation and delivering value to customers. And so... You know, we see that the automation that we worked on, for example, is helping you deliver better service time to market by, you know, shortening the cycle needed for you to, to deliver services, right? In the past, it used to be months. Now we're trying to get it to the matter of days. The other place that we see, and based on our conversations with customers like Telia Company and other companies, um, we see OPEX is being a huge issue for, for you as you're deploying these new services. And we feel that the work that we're doing together in automation can help reduce um, that, that complexity, as well as enabling you to better utilize the resources that you have deployed um, and so therefore get better uh, CapEx benefits. But most important of all, we feel automation and you know can enable you to deliver a better customer experience by, you know, better service re resiliency and, and closed loop automation. So these are all areas that we we feel are, are going to be super important as, as we go forward. And so I think it would it would be, you know, how, is this how you see things as well? I think the economical uh, the economical curves of uh, building networks uh, with uh, with digital capabilities is definitely different than the one that we are used to when we traditionally build uh, networks. And there is a lot to learn in this uh, space. So the CapEx-OPEX uh, conversation 
is probably something that uh, that we need to explore in a bit more uh, detailed manner. Certainly, uh, automation with uh, capabilities, again, to manage network in self-filling um, mode and uh, create the possibility for customers to also impact on how our network slicing and how are they delivering services and so on will create another level uh, of uh, um, uh, of sophistication in uh, in the way we build uh, networks i think the i always try to uh, be balanced uh, when it comes to again capex opex gains uh, the, in, in the introduction of these new technologies and we have seen that in certain cases the benefits are significant but obviously, again, there are lots of things that we need to do and prepare to reap the benefit of the, you know, the entire benefit of the platform itself. Certainly, in the journey, we have seen significant um, savings in hardware. We have seen significant uh, savings uh, in uh, processes when we used to actually have manual uh, processes, basically. Now we have automated processes, again, I refer earlier on to scale in, scale out, and, and, and these things. Uh, long journey, uh, and we believe that, again, cloud native will bring it to the next level, but the benefits are visible and are visible uh, today. I um, um, could actually go into quite a level of details when it comes, for example, to the number of incidents and the robustness of the platform that we see through automation. This has significantly improved. And, uh, and uh, this is clearly uh, seen in, uh, in uh, the feedback that we get uh, from, uh, you know, when we look at the network KPIs and we look at how we perform and so on and so forth. Platform is very robust. Uh, this type of technology is very robust. And we believe that that is the way to go, for sure. That will bring economical benefits in the, in the, in the long term, for sure. As we all know, and especially at VMware, we see being part of an ecosystem as is, is, is being essential. And we actually put a lot of effort into partnerships, um, specifically in the uh, communications and, and space, the telecom space. Now, we see a bit of a shift going on in the industry where um, CSPs are, you know, becoming more and more reliant on a, on a broader ecosystem of partners as opposed to when they were in the vertical siloed world. So how important our uh, ecosystems to Telia's future? I think they are fundamental. Um, we are uh, in, in, the, in the journey towards cloud native, which by the way is a wide journey. It, it actually embraces uh, more than uh, the, uh, the network and so on. It embraces actually the entire digital uh, agenda that we have in the company. But when it comes to looking at uh, what are the essential elements uh, to success that will drive success in this journey, uh, we definitely see that, you know, the, the, the time when uh, we thought we could do everything by ourselves is probably over. So having a proper ecosystem of partners that will help us in addressing the things that we need to do is fundamental to success. Uh, I think we will have to, all together, we will have to learn what are the things that we uh, want to uh, continue to do ourselves versus what are the things that other people can do a lot better than us. And in, in this particular case, actually, when it comes to um, the, uh, the digital platform that we are talking with, uh, with, with you, with VMware in particular, having a proper pre-certification, pre-validation, pre-packaged of solutions and software and applications for us is fundamental. It will save a lot of time in testing. It will save a lot of time actually in, uh, you know, when, when we go and bring this to the market and it is pre-validated and we know that the software of a certain uh, supplier will actually work pretty nicely with your platform and with our common digital platform that is of immense uh, value. So we appreciate actually really, really much what you guys are trying to do in, uh, in this uh, space. This is a pretty unique example uh, in the industry and we see a lot more traction actually as we go forward. Um, as, I, as I said before, we, we would not be, the industry would not be able to just uh, uh, do it by themselves if when we talk about the operator community. I think this is a, it's a common challenge that we have to face through, uh, through a different way of thinking and a different way of, uh, a different way of acting, bringing partnership to the next level, for sure. 
Well, first of all, I, I introduced us as VMware and, and uh, Telia as, as partners, but I actually want to thank you, Mauro, and thank the Telia company for their collaboration, because I think we're really bringing about a transformation in the industry together. And as we think about the joint vision for what a transformation looks like, we really think about modernizing the platform um, with a consistent platform with multi-cloud capabilities, enabling uh, customers and partners like Telia to be able to um, move to the next um, generation of technologies with automation. And really it's about assembling that best of breed ecosystem and, and delivering that transformation together. So thank you again. Mauro, for joining us today. Thank you for the partnership. Really, really appreciate it. It's a pleasure. Thanks, Lakshmi.